obviously it's hard just being off the field. Uh, what was maybe the most difficult aspect of that year? Probably watching all my friends play. You know, I'm with, I was roommates with Pat last year and watching him day in and day out, go to practice, come home. You know, even though football is a grind, I know he loved it and I just wish I could have been out there with him. It's, and Q, I know for a long time, I wish I could have been out there with him too. So it was just hard for me to watch everything go on when I when I knew I couldn't do nothing about it. You know, coming off a whole year of not playing football, it's kind of rough when you're playing your whole life. So it was a big relief, a big weight off my shoulders to actually get back in the game and, you know, try to make try to make a difference. So. Man, it's, it's about time. Uh, it's about time, you know, and I'm just really glad to, you know, be able to see him play. You know, my freshman year, I, we always had games every weekend, so I never got to see him play. And I'm just glad that I get to watch him while I'm on the field with him. So it's a lot of fun. I, I made contact as soon as I got here with him. Um, you know, I knew and, and heard what type of player he could be and then um, understood what off the field issues that he had. And so immediately for me, um, I wanted him to know that it was more than just about football. For me, it was about him getting himself, getting him life together, his life together, so um, he could uh, play football, but at the same time understand that football is not what's most important. It's about getting your life together what's most important. He kind of took me in and sat down and actually talked to me not about football, just about what I wanted in life, and I think that's what I was missing, you know, beforehand. Well, we, we met once a week, and, uh, you know, the whole goal for me is for him to understand that just because he wasn't a part that I still wanted to find out and know what was going on with him, grades-wise and things like that. And, and um, you know, he had some issues that first semester that we got straight, and then that second semester um, he, he, we continued the meetings. Then I, I got him with Coach Hensel, who was our player development, and uh, that really went well. And, uh, you know, it was just about Jake's understanding that he's very capable of getting whatever grade he wants to get. He, he didn't have to do it. None of these coaches had to, you know, give me another chance. But the man that he is, you know, he gave me another role, gave me another chance, an opportunity to, to come back and play. He ended up getting, he had to get a 3.2 or 3.4 or something like that to get back in school, and he did it easy. And, and uh, so this is about him understanding what's important to him. It's not all about football. He's definitely way more focused. Uh, he, he knows what he has to do. He's definitely handling his business, you know, compared to, you know, the, the previous years. He's, he's serious about it. And, and maybe that's why he's, he's playing a lot better, you know. When I was here sophomore year, that's what I did is make plays. And, I know I could do that, and I know that's my strongest point, and I just want to do anything for the team to help us win, and I feel like that is my role, is to make plays for the quarterback and for everybody. Anytime your quarterback is comfortable throwing you the ball, um, it makes you that much more valuable to the football team, and right now, you know, I know Seth is comfortable getting the ball to him, and so he's a physically gifted athlete, you know, as far as, you know, the skills where he can run, he can jump, and he's strong, he can get off man coverage, that type of deal, so he, he's just a physical specimen that we got to use him to the fullest. He has a chance to make more plays than he's even making. So this is about for him being consistent and then making sure he's staying on top of his self, his life off the field. He's, he has uh, just an aura to him that just feeds off of us. You know, when I see him make a play, he, you know, he like looks at me and gives me that look. You know, I get excited, even if I'm not even doing anything. He's so. not just that rock rock type of guy. He just goes out and he, and he makes plays. And, and uh, so it's, it's, some, it's just about reminding Jace that, you know, they looking at you as a leader, you have to be that. And some guys, you gotta, you know, you gotta push them. You can't make them be the leader, but you gotta push them in that direction. And his way right now is just making plays on the football field. He makes a play and, you know, he's like, you know, pumping his hands and we like, oh man, like, gets me warm inside. So we all get excited when he makes a play. We just feel like we all made a play. Me and Quick are good friends. So every time I'm out with Quick, it's, we have a good time. And I know he wants to win just as bad as I do. So I know there's no laps there. I know he's gonna do what he has to get done. And I'm pretty sure he depends on what I have to get done. So he's just like he is on the field. He's a trash talker. You know, when we're playing video games, it it gets heated. You know, he talks a lot of stuff, and you know, he beats me. I beat him, and it's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun though. He's a, he's a really good guy. It's fun to be around.